It has been a while since I made a video on how to connect your NAS directly to a computer. It was DSM-6 based and Windows 10 based. So I was thinking I'm going to make a new video on how to connect your Synology DSM-7 based NAS with latest operating system as today to your Mac or Windows. So I'll show you both options how to do it. It only requires few steps. So first step is to set a manual IP on the NAS. Then set a manual IP on your laptop and when it's done we're going to connect NAS to a computer directly and it should work. If you want your NAS to be connected to other networks at the same time while it's connected to your Mac or Windows and there's only one LAN port at the back you might actually need a USB based uh, adapter which will give you additional LAN port or if you have a PCIe slot in your NAS you might install a 10 gigabit card or 1 gigabit or 5 gigabit or whatever speed you want to achieve or sometimes if you don't have that but you have m2 slot you might actually get a card for m2 slot to 1 gigabit or faster LAN so what are the main reasons why would someone need to connect NAS to a PC directly the most popular reason why someone would want to connect a NAS to a PC directly is this direct connection and privacy while this NAS could be connected to a general network for other people to access data, you could actually connect directly to do things like video editing that requires much faster speeds, like 10 gigabit, instead of 1 gigabit that other users might have. The other option why would you want to do that is faster backups. Sometimes when you run massive backup tasks in your network, it might slow it down for other users that are accessing the data across the network. So if you have a direct connection, you have this direct dedicated bandwidth available for your backups or file transfers or anything else. I'm gonna zoom out now and show you on the screen how to set things up on your Synology and on your computer. So first of all, we need to make sure we don't use the same IP range we already have. So if you type in command and command line IP config, we will see the IP address we're using the range 10 something so we can use something else go to admin panel check the latest operating system we have installed there and head to network interfaces and choose which LAN port we're going to configure so 192.168.120 will be different to range we have now and that will nicely differentiate two different networks direct connection and general network so once we have done that apply the settings and then we can open network connections on your uh, Windows machine. This way we'll be able to set manual IP. What we need to do is check the LAN connection, click properties, IPv4 selected, click properties, and then we change the last digit of this IP address we set for that <coughs> NAS IP. The last digit will change one up, let's say 21. If NAS has number 20, we're gonna go 21. We s I leave the subnet mask and click save and OK. So that's manual IP setting done. We can plug in the LAN cable directly from NAS to a computer and you'll see if you do the command line, you'll see the IP has been issued and it's connected. If you go to website and type in the IP address of this NAS, uh, manual IP, we will be able to log into a NAS uh, while connected directly. So then we can map the drive. We can go open uh, File Explorer, uh, click this PC or Windows Explorer and this PC, click on three dots on the top bar and select Map Network Drive. This is where we're going to type in this manual IP of the NAS we set earlier. So that will be ending with number 20 that was IP from the NAS so backslash backslash full IP address and then choose which shared folder you want to map in my case it's home and click finish it should now ask for username and password this is the username and password you normally use while logging into your admin panel you can create several users if you want to have different access rights for every user and this is it. Now we have a folder mapped to your Windows machine to test uh, if it's working. We can head to test folder and copy a few files over and see if there is any speed gain. And you can see that's a regular 
uh, average speed that you would expect on one gigabit. So how to do it on a Mac? It's very simple. The last step we need to go to connect the server while well, when you open the uh, finder and then we type in the manual IP address just like we did on Windows ending with 20 that's a NAS IP click connect and choose which shared folder you want to map on your Mac and that will be in our case for example remote NAS and click OK then you will see all the files that are available in that folder. You can again copy some files over to see if it's actually working and uh, click paste and it is working. So that's that's about it. That's how you set these uh, mapped shared folder on your Mac, on your Windows directly. And this has been a video how to connect your NAS, your Synology NAS with latest operating system DSM 7.2 to your Windows 11 and Mac the latest OS in 2024. If you want to find out more about NAS, go to NAS Compares. You can send a question down there. There is a forum available, there is Discord available, there is a private inquiries available, all free to use. If you like this kind of content, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here or NAS Compares or go to NAS Compares website and subscribe to a newsletter down there. Thank you for watching.